The dimensions of the universe far exceed our imagination. Although we are able to quantify the dimensions of the gigantic structures of the cosmos, the corresponding values are sometimes very abstract and not very tangible. However, this scheme can also be applied to the exact opposite case. For some time now, researchers have been eager to unlock the smallest secrets of the universe. And in fact, the CERN researchers recently achieved a real milestone. In today's video, you'll find out what exciting discovery the experts made, and which literally bigger discovery is currently dominating the scientific headlines. Are you passionate about astronomical research and the groundbreaking discoveries of scientists? Then subscribe to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe from now on. Go ahead and show us with a like that we can keep you engaged with our contributions. Building Blocks of Matter Before we go into more detail about the exciting discovery of the CERN scientists, we should answer a short question in advance. What are quarks? Well, they are nothing other than those elementary particles that embody the fundamental building blocks of all matter. However, they are not physical singles. In truth, quarks always come together in coupled bonds called hadrons. This also includes protons and neutrons, or in other words, the components of atomic nuclei. Within the standard model of particle physics, quarks enjoy an exceptional position. They are the only elementary particles that are subject to all four fundamental interactions. In turn, experts distinguish between six types of quarks. These so-called flavors can be divided as follows. Up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Protons and neutrons, for example, consist of up and down quarks, or in other words, those quarks that have the lowest mass. Their heavier counterparts, in turn, are found only in extremely short-lived hadrons, such as those formed in modern particle accelerators. For a long time, however, quarks were known only as pairs of two or as trios. Excitingly, this list has some new entries thanks to recent research. We now also know of the existence of tetraquarks, pentaquarks, and even hexaquarks. It seems as if more and more new, exotic hadrons are being detected. In fact, experts even compare the current research period with the groundbreaking era of the 1950s, when scientists encountered a veritable particle zoo that was to become the foundation of our current standard model. The newly discovered quark compounds impressively demonstrate to us what processes really take place in secret. And as became known a few months ago, this successful search for clues continues unabated. The corresponding discoveries were recorded in the context of high-energy proton collisions in the Large Hadron Collider at the CERN Research Center. Some of you will certainly remember the controversy that the commissioning of the particle accelerator once triggered. At that time, there was talk of the creation of microscopic black holes that would plunge our planet and its inhabitants into ruin. Fortunately, this apocalyptic scenario has not materialized and instead has given way to a scientific success story. Three New Particles After the scientists analyzed the captured particle tracks, it was clear that they had just encountered the signature of three previously unknown particles. The first discovery concerns a pentaquark. As its name suggests, it is composed of five quarks, including two heavy charm quarks. At the same time, the discovery becomes the first known pentaquark to contain a strange quark. In order for a discovery to be verified, it must reach a significance of five sigma. In this case, the value was as high as 15 sigma, which means that the find is considered unequivocally confirmed. According to the experts, the detected pentaquark could help us understand the background of the particle compounds more precisely than ever before. So far, we do not know whether the quarks in such multiple couplings are even connected, or whether it's rather a loose association of pairs and trios. In addition to a discovery from 2019, the more recent findings suggest that the latter is the case. This emerges from the detected mass, which, at 4,338 mega electron volts, is on the borderline of baryon-mason production. Thus, the pentaquark 
could be composed of a mesin consisting of a quark-antiquark pair and a baryon composed of three quarks. In the second discovery, we are again dealing with a two-pronged finding, a neutral tetraquark and its doubly charged tetraquark counterpart. In fact, this is the first time in the history of research that this type of particle appears in a pair compound. Both components have a mass of about 2.9 giga electron volts and are composed of a strange antiquark and a charm quark. In addition, one quark has an up antiquark and a down antiquark, the other an up quark and a down antiquark. Especially interesting, currently, experts assume that the particles embody so-called isospin partners, which means that they represent two states of a quantum mechanical system. However, it's still unclear at present whether other partners of this type exist and what the details of the couplings are. With significances of 8 and 6.5 respectively, the confirmation hurdle was easily cleared in this case as well. At present, however, the exciting work of the particle researchers is still at its beginning. In the best case scenario, a unified model of exotic hadrons will be available at the end of this research path. Furthermore, the in-depth investigation will also help to significantly deepen our knowledge of particles such as protons and neutrons. Gigantic Mega Halos From small-scale sensations to outsized discoveries, recently, astronomers recorded a groundbreaking find while studying galaxy clusters. According to our current research, Galaxy clusters embody the largest gravitationally bound structures in the cosmos. Here, thousands of star worlds move around a common gravitational field. These gigantic structures are completed by dark matter and countless gas clouds. All in all, clusters have up to a trillion solar masses. In view of these breathtaking compounds, however, one question arises. How do galaxy clusters form in the first place? Most researchers agree that clusters are the result of galactic mass collisions. As the galaxies collide, the interaction of their particle currents and magnetic fields causes electrons to accelerate to near the speed of light. As a result of the breaking effect of their surrounding fields, the particles then emit energy in the form of radiation. These signatures reveal themselves as radio halos in the center of the structures. In order to take a closer look at the radio emission of clusters, scientists at the University of Hamburg targeted 310 massive clusters with the help of LOFAR. This is a network of four radio telescopes located at different sites in Europe that combine their signals into a single signal. Astonishing Observations In the course of the analysis, four clusters ultimately stand out in particular. In addition to the expected radio halo in the center, they also contained amazingly large fields of diffuse radio emission. The volume of these structures exceeds that of the radio halos, sometimes by a factor of 30. Furthermore, these so-called mega halos have extensions of up to 10 million light years. However, these enormous dimensions are not the only point in which the structures differ from their known halo counterparts. The original assumption that they are simply larger versions of conventional radio halos could not stand up to more detailed investigation. In fact, the growth of ordinary radio halos is limited due to the rapidly decreasing energy of the electrons in the center. This also emerged from the current observations. According to them, all analyzed structures have two different components. On the one hand, there is the brighter area in the center, which is dominated by the radio halo and whose brightness decreases the further one moves away from the heart of the galaxy cluster. On the other hand, there is a less bright but much more extended region. Especially puzzling, in contrast to the radio halos in the center, the intensity of this component does not decrease in the outer regions. Rather, the brightness of the mega halos remains largely the same over distances of more than 1.6 million light years. These structures also differ significantly from known radio halos in terms of frequency spectrum. All these differences thus suggest the pressing conclusion that the mega halos are independent structures formed separately from the radio halos of the center. On the basis of this then, the question arises, what is the mechanism of formation underlying the mega halos? In this respect, the models of the experts say that the radio emission must go back 
to the intercation of electrons and magnetic fields. Or in other words, cosmic oceans of relativistic electrons must also exist behind the outflows of the radio halos in the center. However, at present, it's still completely unclear how the particles there obtain their energy. No less puzzling is the fact that the intergalactic medium decreases fivefold in the foothills of the clusters. And yet, the radio emission remains largely constant. Either the intensity of the magnetic fields in the outer regions must increase, or the energy density of the hot gas. But it's also possible that fluctuations in the galactic structure, such as the entry of matter into the clusters, are what help the mega-halos grow so large. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the exciting particle discovery by CERN scientists? And what goes through your mind in view of the gigantic mega-halos? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.